Hi everyone, I just want to show off a little productivity tool I made over the weekend. I call it Shell Marks. And, uh, well, I'll start off by just showing you what it is here. So you install it with M NPM, and you just start it by running Shell Marks. And it'll take a second here. And right now, this is the main interface. So what Shell Marks is, is it provides two things. It provides a GUI launcher for custom shell scripts that you write. Uh, the second thing is it provides a catalog with documentation for all your shell scripts and also gives you direct access to the launchers. So when you first install it, your interface is going to look like this. I don't have any shell scripts installed yet, so let's create one. I'll do hello. And by default, it gives me a, uh, a default uh, template here. And uh, let's just go back in and we can see that the interface has been updated with some custom tags. It's got a menu here. The key thing is it's got my hello script. And I can run this. First of all, it gives me this little command that I can use to run the script or I can press the button to run it directly from the UI. And so it gives me this little interface for my script. I'm just going to put in my name, select a file, and how about that one? Click an option and I'll go run. So if I go back into my terminal window, I'm getting these weird errors on this computer, but uh, it's not related. It's actually run the script and output it here. So actually that's not uh, it, it just starts here. So it says, hello, Steve Hanna, you selected this file. So let's take a closer look at the script. So if I go back in here, I can press edit and it'll open up the script for editing in my editor. And the script is broken down in two parts. It's just a regular bash script. And that part goes up to about here. And so I've got an echo statement. It takes some environment variables, the first name and the last name. Uh, says you selected, and here's another environment variable. I've got a couple of if statements that check to see if there's an option one environment variable set, an option two, and it'll op optionally uh, output those. And then it exits explicitly. Then I got this little dividing line, and then I've got a little bit of configuration. Now, this is more verbose than you need to actually get started, um, but uh, you've got script level properties which are these ones here, which gives a title to the script, a description, which is displayed in the script dialog when it runs, uh, a doc property, which is documentation that's shown inside the, uh, uh, the catalog, and it's got some tags. So I can change the, the tags uh, affect where it is uh, listed inside the catalog. Then I've got field definitions. And here I am defining fields that should be displayed on the dialog that is shown before the script is run. So here I'm defining first name, last name, selected file, option one and option two. And you can see that there are types. By default, they're just going to be text fields. But in this case here, the selected file, I've specified a file field. So that allowed me to have a file dialog. And in the option one and option two, I've specified that these are checkboxes. And I've specified labels for them. These are optional. Um, and there's other markup that you can use to specify how the form should look. So just to uh, make it clear, I'm going to open this guy up here. And uh, so that script, look at that, shell marks. So it's just a shell marks can be used as from the command line or through the GUI tool. And from the command line, uh, you can do all the important things um, that you can do through the GUI. Um, all the scripts that are installed, like when I created this, uh, this new script, it installed it inside the shell marks script directory. And so it's sort of a, a flat namespace. Uh, now, uh, I could run this script directly using bash. So uh, the script happens to be located in, uh, so I can do bash 
shell marks scripts hello so if I run that it just says hello you selected so it's running that part there however if I run the same script using shell marks it's gonna first pop up this dialog here with the fields that I've specified in the config file so I've got first name last name selected file um, option one and option two so let's just do those quickly um, I'm not sure if I made the file field required so I can do that so there we go hello Steve Hanna you selected nothing because I didn't select a file and then it said option one was selected so it's a little bit more complete I find that I create a lot of shell scripts and I may forget how to use them and I may forget where I put them so that's where this is handy so I can because it's a flat namespace shell uh, shell marks will by default look in this directory for the script so I could also do shell marks hello and it'll run through the same thing it'll show me my dialogue with uh, all this stuff and the, notice how the dialogue description actually contains a link to add a little bit more documentation this is an ASCII doc format so that link it can be multi-line and include links right there and I can click on that and it'll just open up that link directly in my browser uh, so there's a lot of nice little uh, features built into this uh, in addition if we go back into the catalog it's uh, once you get a couple dozen or a hundred scripts then you can use this search to find exactly what you're looking for you can also categorize your scripts so I'm gonna change right now these are under custom tag one and custom tag two uh, I'm gonna change that so I go back into where I was editing this and that is my tags property so I'm just gonna store this under uh, something called samples and I'll refresh and so now I've just got a samples section with my hello script here and if I want to change the samples at all, I can add a little bit of documentation to the section. I can go here, go to edit section, and it's going to open up the default editor for ASCII doc because the uh, sections are edited using ASCII doc. Okay, so it's generated a little uh, a default here, so I'm going to change the name to sample scripts, and I'll just Okay, this section contains some sample scripts. My computer's having trouble keeping up with the video here for some reason. So I'll save that. If I go and refresh this, there we go. You can see how the heading has changed to sample scripts. And I've got my little header there. And uh, this makes it very easy to find all my shell scripts, run them, edit them, delete them. And... Uh, You've got a menu here to do all the useful stuff. Now to end off here, uh, I'm just going to show you one useful script that I've written, and I'm going to install it from URL. I wrote a script that uh, will take a, an iOS.ipa file, that's an iOS app, and it'll output the entitlements and uh, the embedded provisioning profile, just so you can inspect and see if it's got the entitlements that you're expecting. And so I've got a, a little set of sample scripts, not there, uh, oh there it was, it was there. Okay, so in my sample scripts directory I've called it IPA util. This is my script that I've written. It's fairly basic, but I found myself uh, doing the same thing, I mean it's a, it's a few different steps here, and I found myself looking up how to do this all the time. Uh, just with my job I deal with this stuff and uh, I got tired of it so I decided I need to build this front end so let's uh, get the URL to the raw script and I'm going to install this there we go going up here to the menu import script from URL and I'm just going to paste it in here and should have refreshed and there it is so this script will print out the entitlements and provisioning profile for a given IPA file and there's a link to the Apple tech article that explained 
how this is done. So this documentation just helps remind me because I'm finding in my old age, I forget how to use these scripts uh, that I've written. So I could just paste this into the command line and run this script that way. But I find it easier, I'll just press run. And there's the dialog that pops up. I can select my IPA file. Here's just a sample one I downloaded online. And run. So the output right now, I've just got it always going to the same command line terminal that I launched shell marks from. I find that to be easier. Um, so there's all the information that it spat out about the IPA. Believe it or not, this is very useful for debugging issues with entitlements. Um, and uh, if you're working with OSX, there's tons of stuff built in that uh, you can automate by writing scripts. Uh, little things that you can access for, you know, changing image formats, resizing files, you know, zipping things. And if you're a software developer, you've probably got a whole shed load of, uh, of scripts that you've developed. And uh, this tool, uh, I'm very happy with it so far. I think it can make it much easier to manage all of your scripts. And there's lots of uh, features that I haven't listed here, and this is just the very beginning, but uh, um, it's out there. Install it with NPM, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do use it, uh, please uh, let me know. Post something in the issue tracker, or uh, you know, send me a, a you know, ping me on uh, on Twitter, or uh, just let me know how you're using it. And uh, maybe we can uh, put together a uh, a set of uh, reusable scripts for various things uh, to help each other out. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this and uh, happy coding.